I love to sing in my music room. We love to dance and whistle too. We love to sing in my music room. We love to play. And welcome to Sarah's Music Room. I'm Sarah and I'm so glad that you're here today. Let's sing our hello song. Everyone grab their shakers or clap your hands. Ready? Hello my friends, hello my friends, how are you today? Hello my friends, hello my friends, now it's time to play. Hello, hello. Hello to you today, yay, yay. Well friends, today we are talking all about opposites. What are opposites? Well, opposites are pairs of words that have different meanings. And we use these words to describe things. So I have some pig friends here. Say hello, piggies. Now there are many different ways we can describe these pigs. We can talk about their size or their color or their texture. Let's talk about how they feel. This pig is soft. Mm. And this pig is, what is it? Right, hard. Those are opposites soft and hard. Let's take a look at this train. Wow. Got some friends here. There's a girl holding some balloons and some flowers and there's a little squirrel. Chugga 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 choo choo chugga 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 Wow, that train is long. That's a good way to describe that train. That's a long train. Now, what about this train? Look, there's a woman here drinking a big green cup of coffee. That's kind of like me. I like big green cups of coffee. Mm. All right, chugga, 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 choo, choo. Chugga, 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 chugga. Now, what about this train? This train isn't long, it's short. Long and short, those are opposites. Let's take a look at these two balls. Now, we could talk about these balls' colors or their size. Let's talk about their texture. This ball has little tiny bumps on it. It's bumpy or rough. And this ball is what is it? Smooth, right. Let's sing about opposites. Now we're gonna use, I'm gonna use my friends, Big Lola and Baby Lola. I don't know if you remember Lola from another Sarah's Music Room episode, but I like to call her Big Lola. And I like to call this Baby Lola, big and small. Big and small, big and small, Big Lola is bigger than Baby Lola. Baby, shum ba 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 Big and small, big and small, Baby Lola is smaller than Big Lola. Big Lola, shum ba 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 Everything has a size. Is there something in your home that you can compare? Big and small, big and small, Big Lola is bigger than Baby Lola. Baby, shum ba 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 These are pairs of words called opposites. And you can find them anywhere, anywhere. You can find them in your car, in your hair, like high. Shum ba ba da, ba da 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 Or low. Ba bum ba 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 ba
And then there's and soft and fast and slow And slow and slow and low and slow. Let's go back to our regular tempo. Everything has a quality. There are so many things you can describe with opposites like big and small, big and small. Big love is bigger than baby Lola. Baby Shamba big and small yay big and small can you clap your hands clap 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 can you clap your hands clap 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 can you clap them up high clap 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 can you clap them down low clap 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 can you clap your hands? Clap, clap, clap. Can you clap your hands? Do it with me. Clap, clap, clap. Can you clap them up high? Can you clap them down low? Yeah, you did it. We did it together. We clapped our hands. Can you stomp your feet? Stomp, stomp, stomp. Can you stomp your feet? Stomp, stomp, stomp. Can you stomp them real loud? Let me hear you. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Can you stomp them real soft? Stomp, stomp, stomp. Can you stomp your feet? Stomp, stomp, stomp. Can you stomp your feet? Stomp, stomp, stomp. Can you stomp them real loud? Stomp, stomp, stomp. Can you stomp them real soft? Stomp, stomp, stomp. Yeah, you did it. We stomped our feet together. La la la, can you sing this note? La la la, can you sing it really long? La Can you sing it really short? La can you sing a note? La la la. Can you sing a note? La la la. Can you sing it really long? La. Sing with me. La. short la yes we did it we sang no together where we tell somebody, I love you. You know, I think today I'm going to first tell Martin. Hello, Martin. Look, let's do an opposite. Martin is so, way up close. Look how close Martin is, wow. And now Martin, Martin is so, he's so far, he's far away. <laughs> Martin, I love you. Let's use the little ukulele.
you'll say one thing you love about them. Ready? I love you. I love you. I love you. I love your... I'm gonna tell you every day that I love you, come what may. I love you. I love you so much. I want you to tell someone else, I love you. I love you. Good job, friends. Oh, what's this? It's time for our songbook. Today, instead of a songbook, we're going to read a storybook. Our storybook today is Pet Show by Ezra Jack Keats. Pet show, prizes, prizes, Saturday, 11 a.m. Everyone was talking about the pet show. The kids told each other about the pets they would bring. Matt said he would bring ants. I'm going to bring my mouse, bragged Roberto. What are you going to bring, Archie? The cat? Uh-huh, said Archie. The next day, they all got ready for the pet show. Where's the cat, Archie called. Anyone see the cat? Archie and Willie looked in the cat's favorite hangouts while Peter and Susie searched up and down the street. No cat. Archie's mother came to the window. Where can that cat be, he asked her. You know how independent he is, Archie. You never know when to expect him. But I expect him now, it's time for the pet show. Maybe he's inside somewhere. Archie ran into the building. After a while, he came to the window. I can't find him. I looked all over the place. You'd better start without me. Gee, we're sorry, Archie, said Peter. So long, said Susie. They got to the entrance. A lot of people were already there. Just then, Roberto's mouse took off. <gasps> Willie chased the mouse. Roberto chased Willie. Peter chased Roberto, Susie chased Peter, and the show started. Line up with your pets, please, the judges called. They walked up and down looking carefully at every pet and asking, how old is your pet? And what's your pet's name? Everyone got a prize for something. There was the noisiest parrot, the handsomest frog, the friendliest fishes, the yellowest canary, the busiest ants, the brightest goldfish, the longest dog, the fastest mouse, the softest puppy, the slowest turtle, and many more. As the last prize was being awarded, someone shouted, look, here comes Archie.
Hello, you're just in time, a judge said. What's in that bag? My pet. May I see it, please? At that moment, the cat showed up. The other judge called out, a blue ribbon to the nice lady for the cat with the longest whiskers. Before anyone could say anything, he pinned a blue ribbon on the old woman and came back to Archie. What kind of a pet have you got in that bag? A germ, answered Archie. Hmm, and what's your germ's name? Archie thought for a moment. Ow, he said. The judges whispered to each other. Whisper, 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 whisper. A blue ribbon for Al, the quietest pet in the show, the judges announced. As everyone was leaving, the old woman came over to Archie. He's really your cat, isn't he? She said. You should have the ribbon. It's okay, Archie said, you keep it. And he ran to join his friends. They passed the old woman on their way home. Thank you for the ribbon, she called. Archie smiled. It looks good on you. See you around. See you around, she said. The end. Wasn't that a wonderful storybook? Did you notice the way the author used lots of words to describe the pets? I think there were some opposites in there. I, I read the fastest mouse and the slowest turtle. There's a pair of opposites, fast and slow. Friends, I had such a good time with you today in Sarah's music room. Let's sing our goodbye song. Grab your shakers or clap your hands. Ready? Goodbye, my friends, goodbye, my friends, we had fun and we played. Goodbye, my friends, goodbye, my friends, and now it's time to say goodbye, goodbye, goodbye to you today. Yay! See you next time.